Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to install the ButterFS Assistant on my Endeavor OS laptop. So, I had installed the Butter ButterFS file system on my Endeavor OS. So, it is used to administer the ButterFS file system. So, what exactly it is capable of, how to install it, we will check out in this video. So, it has to be installed from the terminal so you have to open the terminal and you have to pass this command a da dash s butterfs assistant so a is nothing but a aur helper so it will help you to install or uninstall packages search the aur uh, aur repository for packages everything re regarding the aur you can do it from a either you can use a or you can use paru paru is another uh, we can say the aur helper so you have to give this command a dash s butterfs dash assistant so it will show you the version of the butterfs assistant package available in aur and it will also show you the uh, make dependencies required to make the package that is make the bin file of this package and the related dependencies and then you can install uh, the uh, exe that is the bin file and the related uh, packages libraries in your system so think it will sync and download the dependency packages along with the butterfs assistant uh, package files so cmac is required qt5 tools is required so the downloading has started packages to clean build so you have to just give uh, you can just enter or you can give any of this option so i given all option so now it will delete the cache that is the home semi dot cache ye butter fs so it is uh, deleting the butter fs assistant cache by uh, from the cache so all the files related to butter fs assistant that were downloaded those are going to get deleted so now the head has shifted change font dependency to be more generic so it is changing the default font of this package so every package has some default faults so those are configured by the developer of that package so the butter assistant you can see here you do want to show the differences between the two packages so there might be multiple packages of butter fs that are available so it will show you the difference between the uh, package on your system or package in your cache and the package that is available in the AUR repositories. So I just uh, did a install, just hit the enter button, let it go ahead. So ent uh, hitting the enter button, the system will go ahead along with the uh, default uh, choices. And if you want to pick up any particular choice, then you have to give the number of the choice. So there are some numbers to the choice like what? 1, 2, 3, you can see here. So you have to choose that uh, the number of the choice or just entering, uh, entering, uh, hitting the enter button, the installer will go ahead with the default choice that is configured in the AUR or the uh, Pacman repository. So you can see it here, it is now downloading the tab.gz file of the butter of his assistant. It is validating the source file with the, uh, this checksums. So the package has passed the SHA-256 checksum. It is asking remove dependencies after install. So I said yes. Parsing source info, ButterFS assistant, resolving the dependencies, looking for conflicting packages. And following packages uh, that are the dependencies to install ButterFS assistant are to be downloaded. It is showing the net change. So there might be some changes between the um, package versions available on your system or in the AUR, level, uh, AUR repository or the packages in your cache so a ur cache or a a cache in your system might also have those packages so it will check for all and it will choose the uh, best uh, version that is uh, suitable for the butter fs assistant to be installed and finally it is showing the download size and the install size then the installation goes on you can see it here The compiler works, then it creates the bin, pa bin packages along with the libraries and all those things. You can see it as the 
how the installer goes ahead with the installation then it enters the fake root environment to install the butterfs assistant file you can see it here everything is there you can go through this uh, complete uh, installation process and it is linking the csx executable butterfs bin so the bin file has been created then there will be some hooks and uh, hard links between the different files in the inst installation package that is getting created for the butterfs assistant then after the complete package is built it will leave the fake root environment you can see it here so installation is complete it will exit the fake root environment it will clean up so it will delete all the files that were created uh, temporary files that were created during the installation process and finally now the uh, installation uh, has come up so now the actual package will be installed on your system so it will first create the package uh, in, uh, inside the install area the compiler will run it will create the hard links it will create uh, all the dependencies all uh, pack, all the files library files everything will be merged into one package file and after that that is created the area that where the package building happened will be clean and now the actual installation of the butterfs assistant will start so the butterfs assistant just consists of one package but to create that package we will have to do a lot of activity you can see here all the acti activity you have to download the dependency packages also after uh, that everything has been done you can see it here it will start installing the butterfs assistant actually and there will be some more packages that will be requiring to be uh, to be installed but in our case only the butterfs uh, packages uh, required to be installed and the dependencies can be uninstalled sometimes the dependencies there will be some dependencies which cannot be uninstalled so we have to install those dependencies also so after everything is done you can see here the installation is successful otherwise it will show us that the installation is unsuccessful but we have successfully done the installation now i will show you how to uh, how the butterfs assistant is there so this is the butterfs assistant you can see here it shows the overview of the volume selected so if you have got multiple hard disks it will show the volume on the file system where the butterfs is installed the file system size 186.26 gb allocated space by the butterfs system is 12 gb use this 8.49 gb free estimated is 176.28 gb so here you can see the data this is the data that is there on the system this is the metadata metadata is nothing but the data about the data or information about the data and this is the system size you can see here it is showing everything and also you can scrub the system that that is a part of the maintenance of the butterfs system what happens is the butterfs uh, will start consuming more and more space because it starts creating uh, the different snapshots the automatic snapshots are created and those snapshots will take up more space so you have to uh, time to time you have to delete the old snapshots and also you can do uh, configure to make the deletion of the older snapshot that is also possible and this is the balance uh, for the butterfs that is there you can also start the balance you can start the scrubbing activity also and here you can see the different sub volumes that are created so home there is no separate home partition so home is created inside the butterfs file system cache is also there portables and machines are also created there is a separate uh, sub volume for log and this is the root log uh, root sub volume so at the rate is the root sub volume and uh, below that these are all the sub sub volumes that are created so you can see it here these are all the different sub volumes and this is the root sub volume so this all totally can uh, make up the file system butterfs file system on your root drive or the root partition of your system now at the bottom you can see here include the time shift and the snapper snapshots also so those are also can be shown and you can also in include the container sub volumes as a part of this system so you can uh, do the administration of the uh, container sub volumes here and you can also include the time shift and the snapper uh, snapshots here so I, right now i am not install the time shift or snapper snapshot but i will install those and then i will make a separate video on that also 
So this was just a, uh, we can say, a elementary or the uh, preliminary uh, video on the ButterFS Assistant that is uh, get, that can be used in NDROS to administer your ButterFS file system. So with this, I will stop the video here. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye.